On September 17th of 2004, about 120 people gathered at what was then Elderly United, and 47 pastors and community leaders signed a covenant to invest in healthy marriages. I'm Bruce Jones. I'm pastor of Mount Carmel Missionary Baptist Church here in the city, and I'm for this 100%. I'm Pastor David Frank from First Assembly of God Church on Burnett Road in Springfield. We're excited to be here because all of us have passed an accident in the making and we had to pull over. We just absolutely had no idea how to get along and I was desperate. So I, I actually was just going through at the time we still had phone books. Yeah, I, I know without a doubt that without the RINGS program, we wouldn't be here. I mean, that's... Yeah, it definitely was that significant for us. Pastor Coleman, who was, uh, who was my mentor even to this day, he said, I need to see you and Lisa uh, in my office. Now, Lisa was terrified because she had, ne she had never been in Pastor Coleman's office. And so we both was like, man, what is this about? Like, what did I do? Right. <laughs> or what do we do? <laughs> right. And so it was like, he said, I want you guys to take over the marriage ministry. So um, you gave us a flyer and I took it home and said to Dave, um, I know we don't need something like this for ourselves. Of course not. Um, we we but, don't need that. You know. no. But would you mind if I sign us up for this Saturday class? Because I don't feel right referring something, someone, a couple into this program without having experienced it. Communication, finance, like everything, everything that t rings touched, it was just, it was eye-opening, like, oh, wow, I've not been, I realize I have not been equipped to succeed in my relationship with my wife because yeah. we really hadn't learned to communicate well. Started with, uh, with Pastor Coleman. Mm -hmm. I believe that he had mentioned, you know, something to us, you know, about it, mm -hmm. and we said, okay, great. You know, let's, it sounded wonderful. It sounded exciting. It sounded something that we were definitely, you know, interested in. And uh, we were there about 30 minutes when we looked at each other and said, oh, we, wow. We, we need this. We need this. Yeah. There's definitely a difficulty that comes alongside adopting um, children, especially children with special needs, which is where we're at. And um, it adds another layer of stress. Um, but we know as adoptive parents, the stress adoption puts on a family and a relationship. It's hard. I remember we were on our way to pick up Xander from the hospital, and, and so final paperwork hadn't been signed, and, um, and so tensions were really high, and it, it exploded into a fight. We didn't know when we experienced rings back in 2007, maybe, 2006, that um, years, some years later, how much we would need those skills um, when we went through a significant crisis and we are adoption professionals, but we're not marriage professionals. And so having Encompass come alongside of us with decades of, of experience um, in assessing marriages uh, gave us a way to exhale. At the end of marriage counseling, then um, it was suggested to us to go on to do mentoring. And that's exactly what we did. And it was so wonderful with Cindy and Dave. Absolutely um, fantastic. <laughs> it was, it made all the difference. It made all the difference. Because you That's do it. have resources. That's it. Reach out to those resources, whether That's or not it. it is, you know, you know, a man and a woman, or whether or not it's, you know, Encompass Connection, but there are resources out there. You mm -hmm. don't have to do this alone. The very first time they walked into our very first session when we met them, they were having a big argument. First section, <laughs> oh. <laughs> We were fighting. Yes, it was. Yeah. On the way there. I'm yes. pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And the kids were with us. Yes. And I think that that was the biggest thing is I think that Cindy right away picked up on the fact that there was tension. And um, there, I could tell she knew. And, and my oldest daughter was, she was probably just really, it had it all over her face. So there was that um, tension with the kids, tension with us. Strife. We, we fought the whole way there. And yeah. they were very yeah. angry at each other and over a specific topic that we worked through a lot. Especially for our oldest daughter who also went through the mentorship um, before she got married. I know that she saw all of the fighting and she remembers the fighting and she remembers 
just all of that bad. On March the 23rd, Malcolm and Kristen's daughter Haley and Shane Hofer were married after completing the rings course and coaching with Dave and Cindy. Listen to their reflections on this experience. Our rings coaching was probably different than most, given that we weren't even engaged yet. We appreciate the rings coaching and all the skills we began to develop during our time with Dave and Cindy. It is no doubt that the mentorship my parents received had a positive effect on how we would go about our own marriage and the idea of it. We knew that marriage can be tough, and you absolutely need to be equipped with tools going in. I would have had a skewed view of what love and marriage looks like if my parents did not receive this counseling. But then for her to see how we did work through it, and we actually tried and we applied, yes, we failed many times, but like Malcolm said, we did, you know, we asked for forgiveness and she saw us work through those things and she saw us practically applying what we learned. Um, but I do believe that it made a difference in her life in a positive way because then she went and went through the same program. Seeing the healing and transformation that happened in my parents both as individuals and as lovers is truly astounding. Rings gave me a hope that any situation can be turned for the glory of God and reconcile a whole family back together again. You know, one, you know, one of the things that we, we always made sure that we've been honest, we honest with them. And we lived everything out in front of them, you know, so that they, they saw me um, open the car door for my wife. They saw me being affectionate and, and, and kissing and hugging my wife. And, and we always had date night. And so, we, you know, they saw those things. We made sure our kids saw those things. And even when, when they saw us disagree, they saw us come back together. Like there was no time where we just stopped speaking to each other or, or we had where we, I stayed outside the house or she, Lisa stayed outside the house. We never allowed those things to happen. We always wanted to live out in front of them the things that we were preaching to them. For me as a father yeah. and, and husband, yeah. um, going through rings, counseling, mentoring, um, helped me become accountable for my actions. Mm -hmm. So. I own my mistakes. <laughs> it's like, hey, yes, dad's yeah. messed up. Um, I mistreat mom, not talking right, not acting right, um, not godly behavior. Um, own it, repent, ask for forgiveness. So much bigger than, than either of us. I mean, it's just the, the way it spreads out and you know affects the couples that we may uh, be in contact with. And then those couples go out and they, you know, mentor or, or uh, you know, touch the lives of other couples. Or then share just, about the rings program. And share about the rings, or do a rings chat, or, you know, right. it, it just it's exponentially, yeah. it gets larger and, and larger. It's, yeah, and that ripple effect. Our relationship has been impacted for the better. We have only been married a short time now, but even through the dating and engagement period, we have used what we have learned in the rings coaching. Yes, some of it takes practice, but we keep pressing for honest and effective communication between the two of us. Nothing hidden and nothing broken. We would recommend rings to all newlyweds or engaged. Seeing the healing and transformation that happened in my parents both as individuals and as lovers is truly astounding. Rings gave me a hope that any situation can be turned for the glory of God and reconcile a whole family back together again.